So greetings and welcome to another 11D30 Tech, Earl Cannonbear with you here. Today's topic, today's topic is, um, I was going to show you today's topic, but I am in full screen, so I need to go out of full screen. There you go. And I have been wearing the Qualo silicone rings for quite some time. I like them quite a bit. Uh, the only problem I have with them is that they tend to split, tend to break on me. And here, I'll show you the current one I'm wearing. It's got a rip in it somewhere. There it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll get a close-up of that uh, in a picture later. Um, they're always good about replacing them, but only one per ring. So essentially, if I rip one, I can send it in. They'll replace it, and then that's it. So if it breaks again... I got to buy another one and I haven't had much of an issue with that because I really like them. Um, I play hockey three times a week and got to the point where I couldn't wear my normal wedding ring under my hockey glove because it would hurt because it's literally right on the point where I grip the end of my hockey stick right there is where the ring is and so it's constantly uh, jamming against my finger and the silicone ring is perfect because it just uh, bends with what I'm doing. So yeah, there's that for you. Um, so what I'm wondering if I can design my own ring using a flexible filament uh, with 3D printing. So that's what I am going to attempt to do now on today, today's, on today's video. I don't know if it's today's video, but it's a video that I'm doing today on 11D30 Tech. So let's see uh if we can do this all right stand by okay so i have a new project started here in fusion 360 called rings i am going to make a new component i'm going to call this i don't know ring ring uh, dash one all right i'm going to save this now and call this Ring, okay, location rings, sure. Okay, so first thing I want to do is set up a couple of uh, variables. And wow, okay, so this is a fresh install of Fusion because it's no longer in the App Store. So I had to reinstall it, and now all my uh, menu items are gone. So I want to add change parameters, and I want to pin that to the toolbar. And there we go. Now I can get to my parameters and I'm going to make a uh, ring size. And I guess that's going to be a millimeter. So I don't know how I'm going to do this because the 11 size ring that I wear is not really corresponding to anything. But I did look online and that corresponds to a 20.6 millimeter radius. So 20.6, and we'll try that. And then the current ring I'm wearing is about uh, three millimeters thick. So let's try that. And the one I'm wearing now is about six or seven millimeters wide, but I'm gonna try to go bigger. So we're gonna try, uh, a width of 10 just to get that going all right so let's do that and where's my origin there's my origin and I want to I'm gonna start on the top here and I'm going to create a new sketch on that plane and this should be fairly easy I just need a circle with a center diameter and that's going to be ring size which should come in at 20.6 uh, so um, then what I can do I think never uh, having done this before is let's take and let's do a a uh, offset I need that in my toolbar thank you offset of um, uh, thickness All right, so now I've got my outline of my ring. Can it be that easy? Okay, so now we're going to extrude that. And I'm just going to hit E on the old keyboard. 
And we're going to do that uh, with And uh, yeah, it looks like it could actually be that easy. So I think the other thing I want to do is add some chamfers to this guy. Um, or I also was thinking maybe some text would be cool, but I would have to go and look up how to get the text on a curved plane real quick, which maybe I will go do and then uh, show you how to do that. But first, let's do the chamfers. So I want to create, no, I want to modify, and I want, not a chamfer, I'm sorry, a fillet. Can I uh, be more wrong? It is in shortcuts. Shortcuts, I want to toolbar. So we're going to do that, and now what I sometimes do is do that, and then do that. How come that didn't, did I get both of them? I did, okay. Uh, What do you think? Uh, Like two mil? No, I didn't like that. Let's go in and do that. And try it likes 0 0.5. Does it get to one? It does get to one. Let's do one. Okay. Um, the other thing is that my filament, my flexible filament, which I believe is a TPU, is yellow. So I'm going to go here. And pause. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so I'm going to go down to paint. No, I'm going to go down to plastic. Plastic, and uh, I'm going to do what? Is that what I want? It's not really ABS. I wish they had a. PLA in here, that would be amazing. Wouldn't that be nice? Or even uh, other, like a, that's not a clear, no. Let's do, can I do by, I can't sort by color either, can I? Oh yeah, let's do OPEC and let's do that. It's not quite that color, but that's more, more like it. Okay. So close. Close. Okay. So now that I have that, I suppose I could print this out and do a test print. But before we do that, let's figure out how to get the text around our curved plane. So I'm going to stop and go look that up and then come back. Okay. So I went and did a little reference, uh, reference finding, a little uh, research and found a couple of videos that uh, helped me figure this out. I will link them in the description below, but this should be as easy as creating a couple sketches and then uh, extruding from the object to get it to curve around the ring. I will probably have to do, if I want to do like text around the whole ring, maybe do two sketches, one on one side, the one on another. And do the same thing for the inside if I want to do text inside. So let's try that. Um, let's go to the front. And let's make a new sketch on that plane. And then I will do keep it up there. And let's do, yes, yes, you're doing stuff. OK, let's start. I think I want to start like there. And let's do, um, try that, I guess. Probably not what I will do on my real ring but for this purpose let's do that and let's go to my favorite free font do i have it in here too many fonts too many fonts where is a u t o I don't know if I have it installed in this machine, so I'll have to, I'll have to do that. But for now, let's pick uh, ooh, Ba House. Whose house? Ba's house. Where did that go? There we go. Let's do that, and then we're a little big. Actually, so nine, yeah, nine should work. Um, we could do that. 
No, my original idea was to do like my wife's name and my kid's name, but for uh, this purpose, we're gonna do that. So now we have our sketch there. So now we should be able to extrude that. And then from the start, we want from object, and we'll come over here and we'll select that, or actually we'll do that. And then we're going to extrude what uh, negative one. I want to this. No, what, what are you doing? What you doing there? Let's try that again. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to hide my body. I'm going to select like that. Extrude. Yes, there we go. Now, now we can do from object. And then I want to pull it. Yeah, okay, cool. That's what we're looking for. So I want negative one. There we go. So now it should be, that's hard to tell. I think I want one. Yep. There you go. And okay. Yeah. That's cool. So now what should we do on the other side? Or the inside now. So I'm going to, that was on what the front? Okay, perfect. So let's flip that around on the back and let's make a new sketch. And give me some text. And we're going to do that same thing. I wonder if I can see. Nope, nope, nope. Swing and a miss. I can see that. Use that as a reference somehow. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. Um, tech in Bauhaus. Bauhaus. Whose house? Ba's house. And what did I do? I did eight. Or did I do nine? I don't I don't remember. Were you anywhere near Chernobyl? I don't remember. Let's put that. Maybe line that up with the other one in the back there. Cool. Okay. And let's hide the body. I'm gonna hide that other sketch. Uh, one thing I've been doing lately is naming all my sketches because it gets out of hand real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so tech. And let's name this two. All right, so extrude. E on the old keyboard. Show the ring from object. There we go. And uh, one. Oh, so I don't. Oh. I think this will be negative one because we're coming around the other side. Yes, it doesn't say cut yet. Oh, new body. Cut. Uh, what's going on? From object. Let's deselect that. Select that. Uh, okay. Just give me one. Why don't you like that? You like four. Okay, two selections. So let's cancel this. Let's go back to our front. Oh, 
not work. Okay, I'm stopping the sketch. Extrude. Extrude one from object. There we go. Cut. Negative one. Okay, so that was weird. Uh, okay. So now if I want to do something on the inside, I could do that same process. Let's go to the front. And let's do hide that and do that and that. And turn that on and do that. And say, Inside and where's my ring? Am I way too big? I'm not too big, I'm just off. There we go. Inside. Let's do okay. Uh okay. Did it just totally move? It totally moved. Like that. Not sure, let's hide that. Let's move, no, I can't move. Can I do that? Yes. Uh, okay. That's weird. Can I do... Not sure what happened, let's try it again. Ah, uh, good old fusion. Screwing me up. Inside, oh, I'm not even on an object. Yeah, I know it's not, oh, sorry. That's why. Um, okay, I am got to stop here. Let's do stop sketch. Let's do goodbye. Um, turn that off. Thank you. Still in the front. There we go. Okay, so somewhere in there. Okay. Not sure why it still moved, but that's that's okay. So now we can uh, let's hide this. Okay, so we got that. Let's do extrude. Let's just do one for now so we can see what's going on. Let's bring the ring back in. Let's bring our view. Something like that, good. Let's start from object and let's do that. Did not like that. Interesting. Oh, it grabbed the other one. Okay, so. We would do that. Linda would do that, which we don't want. Let's go back to zero. From object. There we go. How about one? Excellent. Fill the partition versions. That's fine. Oh, interesting. I think it's too big. 
is what's going on there. So we're still going in one. Let's do that. Yep, I know. Let's go in here and let's hide that and let's do that and let's bring that down to what? Eight. No, okay. Let's try, I see, okay. Go back in, go in here, come on. Oh. You must be in the sketch to edit the sketch. Let's do seven. And I wonder if I need to move it. Looks like I do. Yes, yeah, so I've got that locked. I don't know how to do that. I do not know. Constraining. Can I move it now? Yep. Beautiful. Oh, I see. Okay. No. Yep. Don't know what I'm doing there. Can I do that? Perfect. Let's put that uh, somewhere there. Oh, okay. Yes. There you go. Inside. Nice. And so, should we do one more inside? I wonder if we should find like a goofy, uh, something goofy to put inside there, but we like a, like a emoji or something. So let's do, let's not do emoji. Let's go back to the back and let's hide that. Yep, perfect, back to back. And let's do a new sketch. And let's do that. And we're going to do, um, inside other? Sure, sounds good. Let's do somewhere. I don't remember when I made the last one. Let's try eight. But you that won't. So this is good. I can do this now. I can move that. I think seven's the way to go. Let's go back here. And let's try that. Hide our body. Do other. Extrude. Let's go to one for now. Go to home. Show that body. So we want to make sure it's that one. We want to profile from object that. Nice. So now we're going to do negative one. And it looks like we got everything there. I want to do that. All right, inside, other, eleven to thirty tech, nice chamfers. All right, I think. Turn that off. Uh, now's a good time to save our work. Actually, let me cancel that. And when I noticed that, if you go back to home and then save your work, it will actually put that in the icon. Yep. So which is kind of nice. And so now we have our ring. We can simply export as a still. I don't know that I need to make any changes there. Uh, not down. Let's go to our inbox for now and save. 
Uh, okay, so my slicer of choice still is Simplified 3D until they totally break it or until they make it awful. And you can see my last project I was working on. So we're just going to remove that. And we're going to import our ring from our out box. No, that was our inbox. Dun, dun. So the great thing about this is this should take like no time to to print. Um, do I still have my? I don't. So I'm gonna pause and go find my TPU uh, profile from another project, um, or maybe I can file open recent. Nope. Okay. Um, whoa. So I'm going to pause and go find that. All right, so I have my past project that I was working on with my TPU, and it's the last object I printed. Um, so we're going to just remove that. I have my TPU process there. I'm going to add, nope, sorry. I'm going to import the ring still. Plop that on the center. Now my current print bed is a little beat up there right in the center so I'm going to move that eh, somewhere in there that should be fine uh, delete that. let's look at our TPU settings and really what I did was change the um, the what did I do I changed the temperature Yep, 220, 240. I don't know if I'm going to need to put down any glue or not. We'll see. I might have to. And then the speed. Yep, I turned that down pretty far. Um, infill. I wonder. Let's take a look and see where we're at now. Whoa. Go back to my home view, please. Thank you. Oops. Zoom in. Zoom in. So you can see we are getting our, our letters to show. So it looks like what I want to do is I want that to be almost, I think, pretty much solid. But do I want to do that with infill or with my perimeter walls? I don't know. Hard to say when you don't know. Oh yeah, I think that's what we want. It's still doing, is that little infill? Infill single selection, it sure looks like it. Where is that? You know, I can't tell what that color is. Gap fill? kind of annoying. Um, so let's count one, two, three. Yeah. So it's doing it one, two, three, and then that little one, one, two. So what did I do? Do, do, I did five. Let's do for giggles. Let's do that. Let's see what it does. Same print time. Yeah, same thing. It's not going to matter. So I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. All right. So um, now it's time to send that over. I gotta change the uh, filament in my uh, Robo R2. That's the next thing I gotta do. All right, so let's go do that. Okay, I have swapped out the filament for some a TPU a yellow, and let's just see. Yep, it is extruding out just fine. And let's do. So here we're in Octoprint. Uh, I have turned off the Robo stupid skin thing so I'm running the as stock as I can get it for Octoprint here. I'm going to create a new folder and let's call this rings. Sounds good. 
And that Raspberry Pi in the Robo R2 is, I don't know what version it is, but it's, I think it's like a, a, a two. And it's not super fast. Um, so yeah, a little P, uh, okay. So, oh yeah, it's so stupid. So when you first create a folder, uh, it hides folders without files. Like, why? Why on earth would you do that? I don't know. I don't get it. So stupid. So now, yeah, look at that! I just made a folder. Now I can see stuff. Ugh. So let's go to our outbox. Sorry, our inbox. Grab our G code. And I always check my G code viewer. Sorry, uh, just to be sure that that is the thing I want. So once this finishes uploading, I will load it. We will check it and we will print it. Oh, and uh, here's the filament GPU. So it's like, it's like half cooked spaghetti, I would call it. It's not fully cooked spaghetti. It's not raw spaghetti. I would call it somewhere in between. So yeah, okay, finally. Oh yeah, finally. So can we load that? Thank you. Check our G code. That looks good. Dunk, dunk. Yes. Control, control, and print. All right. So I will now cut to the time lapse of this and we'll talk about what happened on the other side. Okay, so here you can see the uh, time lapse of the actual print. Went fairly well. Only thing that I noticed was the text on the inside made it a little bit uh, harsh. So I tried to uh, get some sandpaper in there and smooth it out. Didn't work really great, but I think on the, on the version, uh, on my real version, I think I will actually not do any text on the inside. So. I will go ahead and put all the links I talked about uh, in the uh, description and I will also put a link to the uh, Fusion file so if you want to download it and play with the, uh, the file you can do that as well. Alright, uh, go ahead and uh, if you like this video, <laughs> leave a thumbs up, um, get subscribed, I publish videos maybe twice a year at the rate I'm going now, maybe some more, maybe more than that. Anyway. Uh, Earl Cannonbear, signing off. Good day.